Hello, and welcome to Cube, Q-U-B-E, which apparently stands for Quick Understanding of Block Extrusion, which I'm never going to call it. I'm just gonna say Cube, like a sane person. So, wow, okay, here we go, new game. I don't know much about this game, and I, I was not prepared. I, I've been like, I did not really know what I was going to play after the last game, and I figured, ah, oh, I can try this one out, but oh man, setting this up has been more work than I thought. I had the Director's Cut edition of this game on Steam, and I figured, hey, why not play that one? I have actually played this version, Cube 1, or whatever you want to call it. It's not Cube 2. The Director's Cut version is not Cube 2, because they're making a Cube 2, apparently. But I figured I would play the Director's Cut, because I, I have played the first one, but not to completion. I did like five sectors or something, and it was like very, very long ago. I don't remember too much about it, but I don't even remember why I stopped playing it. But yeah, figured I would give it a shot. I, I like all the puzzle platforming stuff. Might as well make a series on it, right? So, I was gonna do the director's cut, and I set it up, and the options were very, very limited, and I wanted to, like, fix things, like, there was forced motion blur, the FOV was pretty low, there, like, the mouse sensitivity did not go even close to as low as I would have liked, it was, like, three times as high as I normally have it, pretty much, and just lots of weird issues. And, like, a uh, locked frame rate as well. Like, the frame rate was just locked for no reason, even without VSync. So, had to do a bunch of digging in .ini files, which is one of the good things about the game being in Unreal Engine. You can do that. There's, like, all of the INI files. You can just go into all of them and fix whatever you want. You can, like, for all I know, you can, like, change how the game works if you just want to tweak some files and, like, set the gravity or your player speed and just crazy stuff. I did not do any of that. I don't even know if it works, but I tried fixing a bunch of stuff and it wasn't super successful at first. And it, I, I was getting very exhausted and then I found out that the Director's Cut edition was just the base game. Not like, I thought it was like ported to a new Unreal Engine or something like that. That would make sense. Nope. Not that, it was apparently, or at least as far as I know it wasn't that, it was just they added a story to the game, which does not have subtitles, it's just like audio being told to you while you're playing through the game without subtitles, and as far as I've heard, it's fairly mediocre. So I, I just figured I'm not even gonna bother, I'm just gonna, I wanna play the first game, like the original, first, and then maybe we can check out the director's cut and watch or uh, listen through the story when I like already know how to progress through everything hope hopefully assuming that I can get through everything but yeah oh man then I had to set up all the FOV and uh, FPS and sensitivity and blur and all that for this game as well this version and I think I'm done now but man it's taken so long so I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna jump in and Hopefully have a fairly smooth episode. I might have to tweak some more things as we go along, but wow. Okay, I, I should plan out these things a bit better. So, before we just jump in, let's just check the options menu. Like I said, it's quite bare bones. Graphics, just uh, resolution. It starts at a very low resolution, which I guess is good for, like, just to be safe. V-Sync, full screen, which, yeah, you could see that. It was like full screen was not marked, but then when you mouse over it, it is marked. And it actually is in full screen, so kind of weird. No, like, boardless window or anything like that, but oh well. Advanced graphics, everything, turn up to max, because this game is very light on the performance. Like, right now, when I was in-game, I had, like, 300, 400 FPS with everything maxed out. So that's great. That's fantastic. Hopefully the performance doesn't drop at any point, but just from uh, the outlook, it's looking very good. Not too much, like that I complain about about this, or that I have to complain about about this, but, as I said, motion blur. Disgusting, nauseating, vomit-inducing motion blur was just, like, 
it was just a sickening amount of motion blur, and I don't even like motion blur to begin with, and this was just crazy. And you had to, like, dig through INI files to get rid of that, but I did. Really should be an option here. There's no, like, FOV slider. I have a keybind that might fix that, but I didn't really get it to work, so it might work, might not work. Again, would have been nice to have. Just a little bit sloppy menu. There's a brightness slider. Cool, I guess. And then sound. This is a very weird thing, because in the Director's Cut version, there's only a master slider. They've removed the music and so sound effects slider, even when they added voiceovers to the game. That makes no sense. They, you, would, you should do the opposite. You should add another slider for voice volume as well when you're adding voice. It just didn't make any sense. I was very surprised when I saw this. And this is just default. I'm gonna leave it there and we'll tweak it if we need to as we go along. But yeah, I, I like that we have sliders here. Just don't see why that's not a thing in the uh, director's cut version. And then controls. As I said, mouse sensitivity, no like numerical value or anything. And pulling this all the way to the bottom was 10 on the scale of mouse sensitivity. And I wrote in the INI, uh, INI, INI files to have it at 5. So yeah, it was very, very high. And I am playing with smooth mouse, which normally I would puke on, puke at, puke because of. But I mean, it's a pretty slow puzzle game. And I figured just having the uh, more like cinematic slow moving, not like too jerky uh, view is going to be nice for video, so I'm just going to stick with it, see if it works out. It looked fine, felt fine. And then we just have control layout, very simple controls, like, oh, left trigger Xbox? I don't know why that's saying that, but I'm pretty sure it's left mouse click and right mouse click, but we'll, we'll see when we get into the game, I suppose. I did check that, so should be fine. There we go, all right, let's jump into the game. Sorry for always having such long intros, but this was a particularly frustrating one. I've been at this for like hours trying to figure out director's cut and then this version and oh my god, let's jump in. So here, when you woke up, you had a weird voiceover in the director's cut edition, but in the original it's nothing, it's just like, you don't know why you're here, and I kind of like that more. It's just like, you wake up, you have this weird suit, these weird gloves, and you don't know where you are, you don't know where you came from, you can even see, like, hold on, just a minute, some blinking. You're like, looking up, like, what the hell? What happened? Where did I come from? And yeah, I don't know, it just feels a bit better for this kind of game, to just have it be like a mysterious thing. Like, it is very Portal-inspired, especially in the uh, look of the game. It's very, like, oh, clean and scientific and stuff. And yeah, okay, let's see. Can I sh change my FOV? No, I cannot. I just pressed the key, nothing happened. Damn. Maybe it already has changed, for all I know. I don't know. I mean, it looks fine. I just... Uh, in the director's cut version, I did manage to change the FOV and it did feel a lot better when I had it a little bit uh, higher than the default. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. So this is sector one. Oh, there are nine sectors. Really? In the uh, director's cut version, there was only uh, there were only six of these. Ha! Huh. Really? And then I checked the achievements and I saw like seven, so I thought there were only seven sectors. This is weird. We'll, we'll see, I guess. But yeah, here we go. The game begins and he holds up his hands. What have I done? Just to show you that you have to use your, your hands. And I guess there's no tutorial or anything. I actually, as I said, I have played this version and I did have a couple of achievements. I did get to like sector five or six or something, but I got rid of those so we can hopefully get them again. I think you can see the steam overlay and all that, so that should be fine. But yeah, you just look at the obvious... Oh! Ooh! Oh, okay, that's a nice touch. So yeah, like, when you look at the obvious red block, you see your hands light up, so you understand, oh, I can do something here. So you left-click, and that extends it. And then you left-click again, and again. And if you do it again, it doesn't work. But then you can right-click to pull it down again. 
and you can of course hold down the button to do it automatically. So yeah, pretty simple stuff. Get on the thing, race it up, and there you go. Cool. And now this one is already extended, so we hold down right click to pull it down. And here, oh my god, it's like extended but not, but this is because it's three different, very, very simple start. I don't mean to sound like condescending or anything, it's just like basic tutorial. Just left click and right click. And oh my god, a new type of block. I do remember all of this at least, like the block type. So this one is a launcher. Launches you upward. And you have to like prime them to begin with. So say if there was one that I, well yeah, that's gonna happen right now. So here we can do this, jump on it, but then we haven't primed this one so we can't bounce off it. I guess if you're fast enough you can probably do that, yeah, that works, but you could also just like prime them all to begin with and then you don't have to worry. Whoops. Yeah, and different launchers have different amount of amounts of strength or whatever. Oh, okay, that doesn't work. I guess we have to extend this fully before we jump up. Yeah. Yeah, the sensitivity feels really good now, even with a smoothing, and I feel like it looks pretty good. Should look pretty good in the video as well. So here we go. Here we have yellow. Right, I remember yellow. So yellow, you press left click, and it extends all three, and it does it based on which one you click on in like a staircase formation. So if we press here, we would have a staircase leading up, oh, leading up behind us, which isn't very useful. Maybe I can still jump it. Almost. Let me try that one more time. Obviously you're meant to do it the other way around, but ah, oh, it's so close. Never mind. Yeah, I do feel like the FOV is a little bit narrow. If it was just like 10 degrees more, I would have liked it a bit more, so might try to fix that after this episode. I'll tweak more settings as we go along, hopefully. So yeah, here, click that one, and then this one, so we make like a double staircase. Pretty simple stuff. Nice music. I kind of want to turn up the music. I feel like it's very, uh, very quiet. Let's do that. Oh, achievement unlocked. What? Quick understanding of block extrusion. I hope you can see this, so let's see. Complete the tutorial, really? What do you mean? Have I completed the tutorial already? I don't feel like I've completed the tutorial. Was that the tutorial? Oh, I, I guess, yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, this was the tutorial just showing you red block, blue block, yellow block. Now, the tutorial is over and it, we're on to like the real section one with different block types and stuff. So yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. If that's the way it actually works. So we can get up here, but now, ah, we have to do the reverse. We have to do that and jump up. Yep, okay. I want the music even higher. Like, the music is so low. Max it out. Yeah. Still quite low, but maybe that's just my uh, headphone volume that's low. I'll see when I'm in the, in editing, I suppose. Ooh, and here, I guess we do that. So like, oh no, that doesn't quite work. What about that? Maybe that works. Like, interlock them. Yeah, perfect. Is there like a range to this? I don't think so. I think you can like, if you can see it, you can uh, interact with it. Door closing behind me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Things just moving together. I guess that makes it easier. I don't think I would have been able to solve it before this. So now... What are we meant to do here? Yeah, we can't jump up like that. We have to land on the uh, lower one. I see, and then we jump up on this one, retract this one, and pull it out on top, and then we can get up here. Huh. Okay. I do remember kind of getting stuck on... Yeah, there we go! Section 1 complete. Achievement? Achievement! Sector 1 complete. Completed. 
Oh god, what was that audio? That was very weird. It was, like, glitchy. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Green block! New block type. Um... Can't do anything with a green block, but maybe I can later on. Ah! Ah, right! This... this thing. So you click it... Oh! Okay, that's not at all what I thought would happen. I thought it would be like a gravity thing. Like, oh, green blocks are affected by gravity. So if you flip the gravity, then it would fall. But nope, that's not it. So that's just a retry button. If you fuck up your uh, green block, you can, like, get it back. So, like, right here, if you push it over here, and then you decide, oh, no, I don't want it there, you can click that to uh, just refresh it. Okay. So... What are we trying to do here? Oh, right. Yeah, okay, I, I get it. So we just want to push this onto here. Oh, God, why, why does it do that? Hold on. Oh, and it restarts everything, including, like, red stuff. I thought it was only the, uh, the green block, but no, it's everything in the puzzle. I just wanted to... Yeah, there we go. I guess there's some randomness to the physics, because, yeah, the, the green block got, like, shoved a bit further last time. So now... We just push this one up as far as we can. And since both go up three spaces with the green block, that's a fourth. Completing the staircase. Okay, so here we have a launcher. Which launches us that high. So we can launch the green block. And then pull out the red one. Yeah. And then just jump across. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's simple. Really feel like the music is too quiet still. Maybe I'll have to uh, lower the uh, sound effects and stuff and then just up everything in post. But we'll see after the first episode. Okay. So now again, we can... I see. I think I get it already. We have to, like, catch the the green cube with this one. So we have to push this one out. And do that. And then we can pull it back in. Like so. Um, but now... Oh, do I want to stand on top of it? Yeah, like that. And now we... Push this out. Oh, shit, no! That's not what I wanted! That wasn't supposed to happen. That's bad. Uh, okay. I wanted to land here and then, like, shoot up with it. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. I Wait, hold on. Let's try that one more time. Just to confirm that that's, like, actually... That wasn't just bad luck. That's actually what happens. Whoops, wrong direction. If I just push this again... Uh, well, that time it's kind of fine. What? Yeah, that- what? Okay. I thought I was really clever. I thought I figured out, like, you could do this. Hold on. You could get this one out, and this one out, and shove it up here. And then you pull it in. And then you pull up only this one. And then you shove it out and stop it because this one, like, keeps it in place. And then you can pull this one down again, then land on top of it and push up. Like, that would make way more sense, but I guess either way works. And here I thought I was so clever. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, I remember some of these kinds of puzzles. So here, there's a play button. And when we press it, a ball comes out. And it gets stuck. And of course, we have to, uh... Get the ball all the way down. And yeah, here, we have to just... Do that. Just to, like, make it... Wait, hold on. I kind of want to stop the ball, just so we can, like... Wait. What's going on here? 
why would I need this? I mean, I can, like, stop the ball here if I, if I want to. Let's try that. Yeah, it just gets caught there. Oh! Oh, I see. I see. Because we want to push it out to fall it, uh, to fall it, to make it roll on the left side instead of the right side. So we can make it roll here, I guess. But how? Oh, we do that and then extend these, I see, to make it like a smooth path. Okay, and then we just push this one out. Didn't even need to do it three times. Yeah, there's going to be some randomness, I feel. Got it. Some of these puzzles are, like, physics-based, and sometimes the physics seem a bit inconsistent. And there we go. Sector 2 completed. Cool. Oh, God, that's a horrible sound every time. Well, I might actually just leave it off here. It's going to be a short episode, but... I just want to make sure everything is fine, and hopefully I can fix, like, the FOV and stuff for next time. And, oh man, yeah, gotta, gotta learn to be more on the ball about new games and stuff. I just haven't had anything to play, really. If you have any suggestions for, like, new games coming out or anything that, that's nice that you would like to see a Let's Play of, feel free to let me know. Not saying I will do everything, but just, like, I need more suggestions. I don't really have many ideas left, but I'll continue trying to think of something. So, hope you enjoyed this first episode, hope it's gonna go fine, everything, in editing and uploading and all that, and it's gonna look okay. Always, always a worry with new series. But yeah, we'll continue Cube next time. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye!